So Adidas recently announced it will be cutting complete business ties with Kanye West moving forward. Now, a lot of people saw this coming over the last few weeks, but the friction between the two actually started months ago. So I'm going to do a quick run through of some of the highlights so we can really see what went wrong and when. So prior to working with Adidas, Kanye actually started off by working with Nike. And this was back in 2007, and Nike was their number one competitor at the time. And on Nike's part, this was actually the first time they've ever signed somebody that was not a professional athlete. So now we fast forward to 2009. This is when Kanye dropped his first shoe, the Nike Air Yeezy Ones. And right out the gate, his shoe was a tremendous success for Nike. Kanye wore the prototype to that shoe to the Grammy Awards back in 2008. And believe it or not, those shoes sold for $1.8 million. Here's a picture of what those shoes look like. That way you can get a visual of the style that he was aiming for. Then in 2012, Kanye followed up with his second pair of shoes, the Nike Air Yeezys 2. Now these shoes were also a success, just like the first pair. They even had a special edition that was released in 2014 called the Red Octobers. And there was such a demand for these shoes that they sold out 10 minutes after being released. So you can see Kanye got off to a really, really good start working with Nike. So on the outside looking in, it would appear that everything's great, everybody's happy because of all the success so far. But unfortunately, that was far from the case. So if you notice, the Air Yeezy 2s came out in 2012, but the Red October edition didn't come out to 2014. So during that gap between the two releases, Kanye said he repeatedly asked Nike, when is the next shoe coming out? And unfortunately, every time he asked, they responded with, they don't know. Kanye even accused Nike of extortion. He says that Nike actually told a store owner that if you want the Yeezys, you've got to take 10 other shoes from Nike. So pretty much if you want that shoe so bad, you got to take 10 of our other shoes as well and we'll give them to you. Hopefully that really wasn't the case. And on top of all that, Kanye wanted to negotiate some type of royalty into his contract, but Nike refused to budge. They said that you can't get royalties unless you're a professional athlete. Instead, they said they would give some money to charity. So at this point, you can probably tell that the end of that relationship is coming up very soon. So now Adidas enters the situation. They ended up coming in and signing a deal with Kanye back in 2013. So what they did was they negotiated a 15% royalty paid to Kanye on all the sales of his shoes, which was pretty significant because at the time, Nike, their number one competitor, was only paying out 5% royalties to Michael Jordan himself. So he tripled what Michael Jordan was getting. So from the very beginning, everything seemed fine and Kanye put out a lot of apparel. Other than putting out apparel, one thing that Kanye was very consistent with was trying to fight for leadership positions over at Adidas. Here you can see a quote from Kanye saying, I've been fighting and struggling and arguing and talking and having conversations after conversation about being the creative director of Adidas. And here's another time Kanye talking about he wants a board seat over at Adidas. And here's a tweet from Kanye saying, my first pillar when I'm on the board of Adidas will be an Adidas Nike collaboration to support community growth. And none of those requests happened, by the way, and nothing really came from it. But it does seem like the incident that really changed the direction of their relationship happened May of 2022. Adidas released a new sandal, and Kanye felt like it was a knockoff version of his Yeezy slides. So here's a picture of both sandals side by side. So I'll let you determine if you feel like it is a knockoff, or you may feel like they're nothing alike. But Kanye was extremely upset about the situation. And Kanye, of course, didn't bite his tongue about it. He went on to say, I'm not standing for the blatant copying no more. To all the sneaker culture, this is for everyone who wants to express themselves but feel they can't because they'll lose their contract or be called crazy. These shoes represent the disrespect that people in power have to the talent. And this is what ignited all the Instagram posts you saw, the tweets he put out. Um, he followed it up with several interviews, podcasts, so I'm sure you've seen some of the things that Kanye have said in the press lately. Kanye was so upset, he even said he wants to terminate the deal that he had with Adidas, but at the same time, he wants Adidas to pay him $2 billion in damages. So all this went on and on, and then eventually in early October, Adidas came out and said it was putting his Yeezy's partnership under review. Which brings us to now. Adidas released a statement saying, after thorough review, the company has taken the decision to terminate the partnership with Ye immediately in production of Yeezy's branded products and stop all payments to Ye and his companies. 
Adidas will stop the Adidas Yeezy business with immediate effect. And this was an extremely big deal for Adidas because currently the Yeezy brand brings in about $2 billion a year to Adidas and that's 10% of their total gross revenue. Adidas went on record saying they're expected to lose about $650 million from the termination of the relationship. And as far as Kanye goes, it's been said that the relationship ending has cost him his billionaire status. So that's where we're at now. And I guess only time will tell how both businesses will be affected by the departure. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more business and financial content.